25 minutes before the time of the hour. Rick's on the morning show. Look what you got, Craig. Here's what's going on in the world of hip hop. If you uh, have avoided social media or even some news outlets, I would like to point out that Chris Brown is currently out of jail. He has been released from custody. Yeah. Nice. Following some nefarious rape allegations. Mm. Now, there were people who were involved or in the area when it was allegedly going down. It was like, yo, Chris wasn't nowhere near that girl and he had nothing to do with it. Right. All right, Don't so he's you. been released. But there are also conflicting reports that say he has to remain in Paris and possibly may have to surrender his passport until this whole situation is sorted out. Because it, even though it wasn't Chris Brown, it may have been some people that he knew or the girl could be lying all together. Now, if this is the case, if Shorty Wop is lying, she need to go to jail. Yeah. You know, because there are people out who be out here lying, yep. making claims on people. Yep. Cats be out here losing jobs, yep. opportunities, and a whole nine. And it's not cool. Not at cool all. at all. So, uh, hold your head, Chris Brown. The one on top. Moving on, let's talk about future. Future, 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 man. He got a brand new album out right now called The Wizard. Yes. And he recently uh, stopped by in Atlanta to talk to the Dirty Boys. Shout out to Jay Nick. Shout out to DJ Cash and the resident African. Uh, and he was talking about that line on 444 where uh, Jay-Z referenced something to the effect of, uh, you know, you see another dude playing football with your kid, which, you know, obviously was a reference to what Future was going through with Sierra and Russell Wilson. And uh, Future said, hey, man, I had to check Jay-Z. I talked to him. I didn't really say that. I don't want uh, man. We didn't. I didn't mean it like that. Like, and I was just like, "You supposed to be bigging up the rap community. You need to let the, you know what I'm saying? Like, the NFL deal with the NFL. Right. You supposed to be bigging up me. Together. Right? I come from the streets. You come from the streets. You supposed to be bigging me up. Right. You supposed to be giving that no no negative uh, attention. You know what I'm saying? Like right. for a, a hot line, that something gonna always be out. It is what it is. You know right. what I'm saying? I ain't even tripping off him. Like you say, like I'm trying to get to where I'm going, and ain't nobody gonna stop me or whatever going on. The talking and the captions or whatever, the memes, it can't stop me because it's a vision that I have and it's goals that I have done set out for myself that I got to get there no matter what. That's right. So there that go. Mm-mm. Oh, wow. I would, lo- I would love to hear that conversation. I would okay. love for Jay-Z to respond. You know what, Future? <laughs> Basically. I'm just a roach <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> you know, it's just a hotline, fam. It's The Rock. Uh, moving on, let's talk about Takashi 6 9 His lawyer is facing removal from his federal racketeering case. Now, for those who don't know, Takashi 6 9 is looking at life in jail. Why? For being the poster board of a gang that he wasn't really 100% in. Oh, he was just a face. Oh, my God. Like, hey, hey, young man, hold this gun and mysterious bag in your apartment That's for me. Crazy. Okay, guys. Anything to hang with you. Mm. But anyway, so now he's currently locked up. Uh, his lawyer uh, was supposed to post or at least file so he can get a $1.5 million bail package put in play. Mm-hmm. Uh, they failed to do that, so that's why he's still cooling his heels in jail. And they're trying to throw that lawyer off of the case because he was also representing two other guys from the gang, the Treyway gang, uh, a guy by the name of Fahim Crippy Walter and Kefano Shadi Jordan. Sounds like these guys are going to jail. Uh. Like, where yeah, you defended Fahim Crippy Walter. Uh, what are you, you being charged with? I don't know. What about you, Shoddy? <laughs> I wouldn't want to be defended like, yeah. with these guys. They sound like they're all about to be in trouble. So uh, what does this mean for Takashi 6 9 It means you're not going to see him for quite mm. some time. Because, like, he's going to have to get another lawyer who has a similar or just as good of a rapport with the judge in the court that the current one has, right. which apparently ain't that great of one at all because they're trying to get him out of there. Right. And it's just not looking good. Mm. So with that being said, young kids, watch who you hang out with. Watch who you bring around you. This all goes back to the Chris Brown thing. Yep. Everybody right. ain't built for the ride. Right. Yeah. Can't take everybody with you. Yeah. Because there's trouble to come with that sometimes. That's right. Lone wolf, man. Rare werewolf. That's it for me for this other story. So I'm following Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud, H-E-A-D-K-R-A-C-K. That is, I appreciate it, Big Pim, and I got your praise break coming up next. Rick Smiley Morning Show. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Yeah, man, praise the Lord. <laughs>